They used to be seen as pollutants, but more and more experts believe that these little green creatures are a promising source of biofuel and bio-based building blocks for the chemical industry. The most important advantage of algae is that they don't compete with food production, says Professor Weifels, who's head of the project. Algae are promising because they are very effective in utilizing so solar light, so they are more productive than, uh, than crops. But on top of that, you can grow them on salt water. And that brings, that's an enormous advantage, that you don't use fresh water, that you can produce them on, uh, uh, on surface areas that are not suitable for agriculture. And that's why Wageningen University is opening the world's first pilot plant, where the production of algae will be tested on an industrial scale. And what we want to do here is to compare different technologies in order to see the bottlenecks to make cost-effective and sustainable production possible. Algae Park will start with four different systems, three of which are already used by algae farmers. The goal is to find the best system possible. And these are two different types of plants. One is tubular reactors that are vertically stacked, and those tubes are in each other's shades. And in this tube, these are horizontal reactors, and they are fully exposed to, to the sunlight. And because of that high light intensity, they have a protection mechanism that makes them more yellow than the ones that are cultured in the, in the, in the, in the, in the shade. The research centre is a partnership between the Dutch government, Wageningen University and a number of Dutch and international companies. Professor Weifels believes he will find the perfect system in two to three years, after which commercial production can take off. When do you think our planes will be fueled with biokerosene made from algae? <laughs> there are already some test flights with, uh, with um, fuels from microalgae. But it's more like homeopathic flying still. Eh? It's, uh, the, the, the amount of algae oil is, is, is quite limited. There are some attempts of, 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 of increasing that. But really commercially, that will require 10 years to, to, to be able to do that.